What's up guys, this is the truth about the mermaid demon. So a lot of people do not realize that the underworld is actually in the ocean. That is why scientists have went to space, but we've never been to the bottom of the ocean. If you look in Greek mythology, they call it the underworld for a reason. That is because demons live in the water. That is why so many mythologies and stories happen around marine life. Like even if you think about the Leviathan or you think about um, a kraken, it's all underneath the water. So the uh, kingdom's called the marine kingdom. A lot of people don't know about this. I'm going to do a story about the occult. Even if you look at the Starbucks cup, it has a, uh, a mermaid on the cover of it. Um, a mermaid is basically a, basically a Nephilim. Uh, Nephilim are when fallen angels came and made it with women and they made hybrids. So a lot of people, if they read the book of Enoch, they would know that the flood of Noah was not actually about people being bad. It was about the human bloodline. The devil wants to ruin the human bloodline because Jesus is human. So he came to redeem human beings. So if you have anything in your blood that makes you say half, um, half demon or half robot, Sorry guys, the video paused on me. So if you are half robot or half demon or your bloodline is manipulated, then you are no longer redeemable by Christ. So that is the reason for the original flood. So a lot of people wonder like, what happened to the giants after the flood? Didn't God wash everything away? Well, when uh, the demons came and they manipulated the bloodlines, uh, a lot of the um, surviving Nephilim were in the ocean. They wouldn't have been harmed. So that's what happened to them. And the reason why we have so many movies coming out right now about the Little Mermaid, the Shape of Water, um, even kind of like Avatar. If you notice, all of these are like uh, alien, scaly, fish-like, scale aquatic type images. It's because these things are real. And I know this sounds crazy, but... Um, that's kind of the truth of it. I'm going to be exposing the occult and talking more about it. A lot of you guys know this information, but it's the marine kingdom. That's why a lot of things happen in the water. If you notice, even like the Bermuda Triangle, there's a reason why boats always sink when you go there. Like, and it's the Bermuda Triangle. Think about it. Like, what is the symbolism of the Illuminati? So this is just some things to think about. Um, I'm going to be talking more about the occult and the supernatural. I'm a Christian. I believe in Jesus, but I don't believe there's enough content talking about these type of topics. You can find prophetic messages. You can find things about the Bible all day. But if you learn about King Solomon, which is my name, Solomon, he was the wisest man ever. And if you look into other myth lore, Solomon actually knew about demonology and angelology. And I think these things are important for us to understand. And this kind of breaks down why our school teaches us about Greek mythology, Norse mythology, the Egyptian gods. Like, why are we so fascinated in this stuff? Why are we so fascinated with magic? It's because innately with inside of us, we know all of this stuff is real. We, um, we know that there has to be something to this. Um, yeah. So comment below if you have any information or anything you want to add to it. Just let me know.